Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. My name's Kevin Cassius, this is iFilm London, we're at Wembley Arena here with me, I've got Michael Katsidis. Michael, you've been training at Graham Earl's gym in Luton, why did you make that decision? Um, me and Graham, we have a very uh, special bond, you know, it's, uh, we were involved in the fight of the decade and, you know, it's good to be able to pick up the phone and say, hey Graham, how you doing? And he's, yeah, you know, he's good, I'm good, thanks, you know, this is a special bond that, you, you know, it's, uh, it's great to have. Has he been giving you advice or any tips? No, um, Graham is also friends with Ricky Byrne, so out of respect to Ricky, he, he, he wouldn't do that. So, uh, But he was good enough to let us use his ring, and we went to a, a charity for terminally ill kids called uh, Keech for Kids, and uh, we raised a fair bit of money. Just Graham and I popped a few signatures on the gloves, and that, you know, it's a good feeling like to, uh, two fighters, and that, you know, the, the rewards for the efforts is to see terminally ill kids uh, benefit from it. It was uh, fantastic. Uh, Ricky Burns said in the press conference that he felt like he was being written off by some of the press and also the public in general going into this fight. Do you see Ricky as a major underdog in this fight? No. Uh, I believe the very first person underestimate Ricky will lose. Uh, this is no good for me. I've still got to make weight. Um, you know, it, the, the older anyone gets, the harder it is to make weight, and this is going to be a very challenging thing. And then coming into the fight, you know, to fight a hard 12 rounds against a guy who's going to be fresh um, at that weight. Uh, this is a very, very tough fight, and not under, underestimating Ricky at all. Uh, I've got the reputation here, of course, but uh, this is a hard fight for me, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big risk for both fighters also. And are you expecting uh, much neutral support uh, on Saturday night at Wembley Arena? Um, I've been asked that question a few times now, and, and now I'm, I'm, I feel, well, I love fighting here because the people really appreciate it, but I was almost shocked before when somebody said I might get a cheer <laughs> when I walked out the fight, and, and uh, this, that, that was really relieving to know that. Um, after our interview the other day, um, a lot of the YouTube comments are all positive. There's not been one negative comment from the British boxing fans uh, saying that you, know, you come across as a really nice guy. So what do you say about that? Oh, that's well, it, and it goes both ways. I mean, I, I, I make that comment back uh, to the Brit British public in general. Uh, I feel very much at home here. Um, I, I would like to continue fighting here. And uh, look, I, it's, it's something about the air. It's the way that people welcome warriors here. Um, it just makes it such a, a great feeling to come here and fight, and especially at Wembley, Wembley Arena here, where it all began. It's, uh, it's means it's, it's going to happen. Third world title. It'd be just a great feeling. All right, well, Michael Cassius, thank you very much for talking to I from London. And you need to get to know this, Michael, because it's from your home country, right. Coogee. Okay. <laughs> I want to see it on your shorts next time you fight here. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only really joking. This is Coogee Cassius with Michael Cassius for I from London. Thank you very much. I feel London, London, London. I feel. Blunt, 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 blunt.